So what is going on guys, Nanopest93 here with another video, and this is actually the first video that we're recording on the 12 Pro Max. So if you guys can really tell a difference, let me know, and if it's worth me holding onto this phone, please let me know in the comments below in comparison to the 11 Pro Max, because I'm leaning more towards my 11 Pro Max. But I digress because this is another Microsoft video, another episode of our Microsoft series, and today we're gonna go over OneDrive on the iPad Pro, and see how it is as a file manager, see how it kind of compares to files, see how well it integrates into the native file system as well, because you can actually log into your OneDrive. And then on top of that, I kind of just want to walk you guys through some of the ins and outs of OneDrive, some of the features that it has, can it multitask, and how well it works with the other Microsoft products. And then maybe to see if it even works with other non-Microsoft products, for instance, moving images from your OneDrive into your regular Notes app, right? So let's hop right into it. Thanks so much, guys. So guys, like I mentioned in the intro, today we're going to talk about Microsoft OneDrive on the iPad Pro and, and some of the capabilities that it has in reference to working with the entire Microsoft suite. So if you guys are Microsoft users, you guys know that OneDrive is Microsoft's cloud service for data storage, right? And it works very well on the iPad Pro, you know, honestly a little bit better than maybe the files application, the native files application of the iPad Pro. So. Just to give you guys reference, you know, I work in sales as an account manager, kind of deal with clients and sending files back and forth that need to get signed, need to get touched up, need to get revised, right? So Microsoft OneDrive is an amazing way to do that and also to collaborate internally. So just to give you guys a little run through, it is fully updated for 13.4 and higher cursor support. So we, if you guys can see, I'm going down here, the mouse is doing what the mouse is supposed to do from Apple's point of view, right? And then what I do wanna to touch on is see if Scribble works up here because that is a new feature. So if I type in, hello, and it does seem to be working. So inside the search bar, you can type in and use Scribble with your Apple Pencil to dictate and to annotate stuff. So for instance, Handwriting turns into typewriting, and then that's how you're good to go with the search functionality. So, and then Microsoft breaks everything down just like any other cloud service would. You have your home, you have your internal personal files that you've organized by yourself, you have everything that you've shared, and then you also have your libraries, right? So this is where I live in, these are my files app. So the next thing we do wanna check out is to see if, you know, you can have two instances of Microsoft OneDrive, right? So if I go over here, open up OneDrive, move it over, this is a little bit interesting. I've never actually seen this. So it seems as if the app physically, or at least from a coding perspective, is made to actually support multitasking. And they probably just layered it on to every single one of their Microsoft apps. But then at the end of it, kind of said, no, you actually can't do that. One good workaround with this is to actually use the native files application as well. So if you go into the files app, you actually have the option to change locations of where everything is stored, right? Most of the things on my iPad are related to the YouTube channel, but I do like to sign into my cloud services, right? So Dropbox, that's where I house all my YouTube music. And then in order to add OneDrive, all you do is edit the sidebar, turn OneDrive on, press done, and then you're ready to go right here. Obviously, I've signed in before, so this will probably give you a splash screen that will allow you to actually log in. But if I go into my files, everything seems to be there, right? Here's my main folder with everything that I need in here, with all my with everything that I need, my leads, open jobs, everything is just right there. And you can tell that it's honestly syncing right now. So even though it says, it said zero items of four, it's actually 10 items and they start to fill in little by little. And that's what I love about it. You can see, I continue to open it up. Let's see if this opens up and it takes you straight to Word, right? That I'm opening from the files application, the native files application, which is amazing to see. So that's one workaround if you do need to multitask. So for instance, I open up OneDrive, then I open up the files app and all of a sudden, I have technically two or both of my OneDrives open at the same time, able to move documents around, right? So for instance, if I do wanna move one around, and if I wanna go, let's go to my files, if I wanna move this direct deposit info over, let it go right there, boom, there it is, right then and there, beautiful to see. So it does work, and you also saw that on the other side, it actually doubled because it's the same file system, just kind of working off each other, right? So. As, so right now, OneDrive itself cannot multitask, but you can multitask with a workaround with the Files app. So that's one thing. And then if you go back to the main Files app, it works again, just like any other file system, right? And then another awesome feature of OneDrive is this little camera button down here. So if you guys, most of you know, I use the Files app as a document scanner a lot, right? So if you go into the Files app, use two finger click anywhere on the screen, you can scan documents just from here, and it's a great way to actually scan documents. 
with OneDrive, you get a little bit more functionality, which is awesome to see. So if you click on the camera button, you have options here, right? You can scan a document, which is just the scanning that I showed you. You can actually scan a whole whiteboard. You can scan business cards, and then you can scan a normal photo. So that's some nice extra functionality that I like from OneDrive. But in my opinion, you know, if you are not a Microsoft user, there's no need to use OneDrive and, and pay for the subscription just for OneDrive because you have the file system on the Apple side. But if you're a Microsoft user and you need to access your OneDrive from your iPad Pro, I think using the OneDrive functionality is better or using the OneDrive app is better because you can save things offline and make everything available offline. So for instance, if I needed to go into my main folder, so if I need to go into one of my folders and I really need to make sure that this is available offline, I just click right there, it's downloaded, and now no matter what, because my computer, ooh, I mean my iPad Pro, doesn't have data built into it if I'm not around Wi-Fi, which is rare these days, now I have that saved onto my iPad Pro no matter what the situation is. And then once it reestablishes internet connection, it'll live update whatever changes I made to that folder. So that is essentially what OneDrive is. It is a file management system in the cloud, which you guys all knew, and the functionality for iPad Pro is there. It's adopted all the necessary uh, updates from 13.4 and also 14.0 with Scribble, which is nice to see. You can open any of your files from here as long as you have the apps. And even if you don't have the apps, it'll take you to the online version of that application on office.com. So that's pretty much going to do it for OneDrive. It's very simple, very easy to use. And if you're in the ecosystem, I recommend using it, guys. The multitasking is a little bit weird, but there's an easy, easy workaround that's already built into your iPad Pro. So you're good to go, guys. But let's hop out of this view and go back to the normal view. So that is going to do it for this video, everybody. Like I mentioned, OneDrive is a very good file system. I actually like it. I don't know if I like it better than the native files app, but when I'm using Microsoft related products and I have Microsoft applications and Microsoft data and Microsoft files, it's much easier to just open up a Microsoft Word, go into my OneDrive from Word itself and open up the file that way. I think that's the biggest convenience when it comes to OneDrive versus having to open up the files app or open up the OneDrive app and then kind of go from there, right? So that's the biggest thing with OneDrive. It also integrates well with obviously the Microsoft ecosystem, being able to collaborate with other people, share files. I think the share feature on OneDrive is a little bit better than the share feature on the native Apple file system app, just because it's been around for a little bit longer and it integrates not only with your iPad, but your iPhone and your computer, whether it is Windows or, or Mac OS, guys. But like I said, that's gonna do it for this video. Comment below what you guys wanna see next is I still have to do Microsoft Teams and then Microsoft OneNote as well. And that'll really complete pretty much the main Microsoft Suite applications. And then I'm gonna walk you guys through one final work through or workflow of my Microsoft products and how I use it with both my iPhone, my iPad, and my computer all at the same time, guys. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time.